here's where it kind of all ties together. Here's the ethnoid bone. Here's the cribriform plate. And the cribriform plate has many tiny holes in it. For what? Well, for the sensory endings of the olfactory nerve, one of the cranial nerves. The olfactory nerve is one of the cranial nerves for the sensation of smell. The receptors pass through the bone and are, and are embedded in the upper mucous membrane of your nasal cavity. When the beautiful rose, when the scent comes in, smells, volatile gases stimulate open channels, gated channels that are in the dendrites of the olfactory nerve. Channels open, sodium floods in, information travels from here to the part of the brain responsible for smell. And there in the brain is where those signals are interpreted. They're matched up to other things. Have you ever smelled a rose before? If you have and you know that scent, you say, oh, it's a rose. And your brain registers, oh, it's smelling a rose, how delightful. That's how the system works. And for the sensation of smell, this area, this ethmoid bone, plays a big role because that's what holds the sensory neurons, the olfactory nerve, in place. Okay, here are, here's an enlargement of, these are the sensory components. Okay, this is epithelial tissue. Okay, these are epithelial cells that make up the mucous membrane. It's a membrane. The mucous membrane is made up of epithelial tissue, a basement membrane, and some connective tissue in some cases. Here we don't have a lot of it. 